art by Inked Playmats at inkplaymats.com. Your place for custom-made playmats. Design your own or shop from other featured designers. Use promo code CLOTSDILL to save 10% on your order. Inked Playmats. Your game, your style. ...to do on their website and come join us for a fun-friendly F&M environment. Hello everybody, this is Kevin from Klotz Productions, and welcome back to Game 2 of the match between Nyapod and Blue-White Control. Aaron started on the play with a forest, and then Noah laid down an island and played a ponder to rearrange the cards on the top of his library. Then Aaron just put a Sun Petal Grove into play. Then Noah laid down a Glacial Fortress and played another ponder to rearrange the cards again. Then he played a third one and rearranged them one more time. Then Aaron put a Copperline Gorge into play and played a Blade Splicer, which brought a Golem along with it. However, Noah miracled a Terminus off the top of his library to get rid of the creatures. He then laid down a Plains and passed, then Aaron just played Lee and Go for his turn. Then Noah miracled and entreat the Angels this time for one to get himself a 4-4 Angel. Aaron put a Gavney Township into play and then played a Birthing Pod. Then Noah used an Oblivion Ring to get rid of the Birthing Pod and attacked with his Angel, taking Aaron to 16. Aaron played a Worm Coil Engine, then Noah attacked with his Angel again, taking Aaron down to 12. In post-combat, he played a Solemn Simulacrum and searched for another Plains. Aaron laid down a Razor Verge Thicket, then played an Oblivion Ring of his own on his turn to get rid of Noah's Oblivion Ring and get his Birthing Pod back. He then attacked with his Worm Coil Engine, which Noah blocked with his Solemn, bringing Aaron back up to 18. In post-combat, Aaron sacrificed his Worm Coil to his Birthing Pod to find himself a Gisela Blade of Gold Knight. Noah played a Gideon Jura on his turn and forced attacks on it, however Aaron got rid of it with another Oblivion Ring. He used his Township to pump his creatures, then attacked with his two tokens. Noah Chump blocked the Lifelink one with his Angel and then took the other eight, going down to 12 and bringing Aaron up to 26. Noah then hard cast a second Terminus to wipe Aaron's board again. Aaron then played a Hero Blade Hold, however Noah got rid of it with yet another Terminus. Then Aaron just played Land Go on his next turn, so Noah played a Tommy of the Moon Sage and used her to tap down Aaron's Birthing Pod. He then just drew another land, and then Noah kept the pod tapped down again and played a Worm Coil Engine. Aaron then played a Huntmaster of the Fells, which brought a wolf along with it and brought him up to 28. He then used his Township to pump both his creatures. Noah played a Phyrexian Metamorph on his turn, copying his Worm Coil Engine, and then attacked with the first one. Aaron decided to take it, going back down to 22 and bringing Noah up to 18. Then Noah used his Tomio to continue to keep the Birthing Pod tapped down. Aaron then played a Phyrexian Metamorph of his own to copy the Worm Coil Engine as well. Noah used a Mana Leak on it, so Aaron just paid it. Then Noah played another Mana Leak, so Aaron paid for it as well. Noah kept the pod tap down again, then played a Tommy Reinforcements to gain himself 6 life and get himself 3 Soldier Tokens. He then attacked with his 2 Worm Coils. Aaron Chump blocked one of them with his Wolf and then took the other 6, going down to 16 and bringing Noah up to 36. Aaron played another Hunt Master, going back to 18, then pumped all of his creatures with his Township again. Noah took his Tamiyo to Nine Loyalty, tapping down the Birthing Pot again, then attacked with both his Worm Coils. Aaron traded one with his Worm Coil, then Chump blocked the other one with his Wolf. This gained him 7 life, going up to 25, and Noah gained 12 more, going up to 48. Noah didn't play any spells on his turn, so during Aaron's next upkeep, both of his Hunt Masters transformed into Ravagers of the Fells. He used them to kill Noah's new Death Touch token, and did 4 damage to him, taking him to 44. Aaron just drew a Birds of Paradise on his turn, which he went ahead and played, and then pumped all of his creatures with his Township again. He then attacked with his Lifelink token, along with his bigger Ravager, sending them both at Tamiyo. Noah chose to chump block the Worm with one of his Soldiers, and then block the Ravager with his Worm and his other Soldier tokens. The remaining Trample damage hit Tamiyo for 2, taking her to 7 loyalty. Aaron also gained 4 more life, and Noah gained 3. Noah then used his Tamiyo, targeting Aaron, to draw 2 cards. He then played a Day of Judgment, wiping the board and getting himself two more Worm Tokens from his Worm Coil. Aaron just drew land again on his next turn, then Noah kept the Pod Tap down with Tamiyo again. He then played an Entreat the Angels to get himself three Angel Tokens and then attacked with his two Worms, taking Aaron to 23. Then Aaron just drew a Rootbound Crag and then Noah attacked with his team, so Aaron scooped it up, giving Noah the win to the game and the match. So that's it for this match, I hope you all enjoyed it. You can find the full version in the annotations at the end, along with links to my vlog and my Let's Play Duels of the Planeswalkers 2012. If you like this or any other video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and add it to your favorites, then subscribe to be notified when more videos are online.